here of Pastiche of Skin, we're looking at the Loot Gaming Crate for this month, which is December. Now, I'm feeling festive, feeling like it's a time of giving. I wonder if Loot Crate have got a giving spurt. They've got someone to give us really nice inside here. So let's take a look on the inside! Okay. So, theming. Mythic. Mythic Loot. There's a theme for this one. You can see up on this side. Mythic Loot. It's actually meant to be turned sideways, I suppose. Yeah, I got it. Alright, so we got a t-shirt, of course, and let's take it out to the world! How's it going, guys? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for coming back to Pastiche of Skin. We've been doing loot crates here for pretty much a year now, a bit over a year, and um, I I've been really horribly disappointed by a lot of their materials over the last while, you know, I kind of not being massively enthused about their DX offerings and their anime offerings and their main crate, and we've started to kind of like uh, fade out from a few of them, so uh, hopefully this one can maybe bring me back to the fold. Uh, loot crate, if you're listening, there, I've tried to help you all the way. I've answered every survey you've got, and sometimes you've hit the mark, and other times you just haven't. What is this shirt? Oh, I recognize that logo. I'm a big fan of the series. I really like the design of this with the actual straps to the shoulders. Look at this. Hmm. Assassin's Creed themed shirt, but specifically for uh, Kenway's symbol. I think this is actually Eagles and Assassin's Creed. This is a Black Flag shirt. As far as I know, it's like Kenway's kind of like a little bit different from the other ones. But of course, it's like the Eagle with the Assassin's Creed logo on top of it. But I like the design on the shirt on this one a lot more than normal. Um, this is kind of like straps. Like the two-tone color of it, this thing feels like there's a bit more design and choice put into it. I like this choice of materials, I like the feeling of the materials, the print is pretty simple and designed. Yeah, I'm on board with that. I like that shirt. I don't even know if I want to try and put this on now because I've got two shirts already on my phone. I'm wearing the wash shirt from the Firefly crate, but that's actually a not bad shirt. Uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, the pinnacle of the series for me. Um, I mean, Assassin's Creed 2 was pretty good. But um, Black Flag really is the the game that actually, like, I I would still go back and play it now. Uh, Freedom's Cry I was a huge fan of. Rogue I really enjoyed even though it felt a bit short. Uh, especially because it had an Irish character in it and it's kind of like, you know, you're playing somebody local. I suppose in the way for the plot of that world. But yeah, that's a nice shirt. I like that one. That one's, that one's going to go into my rotation quite comfortably. Um, feels nice and warm as well. Like, it feels light but the material feels thickish enough. Heavy enough, but it does seem to be very, very tight. I'm looking at that, and that's actually the sleeve, and that's the wrist that's coming out of that. That is not my wrist size. Like I'm, that, that's going to be sitting up above my forearm because of the um, the, the skinniness of the wrist. Look at that, it just tapers down. That's a bit weird. Yeah, well, I'm still going to enjoy that shirt. I'll probably be bursting out of it in the seams, but we'll see. Ah, moving on to another thing here. Take care of that, and we can see it. So what else have we got inside the crate here? Alright, Okami! Let's take a look at that. That's actually a Okami box with a figure inside it. I'm assuming it's actually the Okami dog that's inside here. Um, I do love the little Okami dog. Um, Okami HD. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I really like that one. This is a ceramic statue? Or is it plastic? Plastic. But yeah, check that out. It's actually cute. That's really, really nice. Actually, I'm a big fan of that. I mean, essentially taking cute characters and putting them out on the figures I can put on my shelf. Definitely on board of it. <laughs> See, that's cute. Right. You got the wee pads on the bottom of it there. But there. <laughs> dog butt. Why, why did they bother putting in the dog butt? <laughs> that's unnecessary. Um, yeah, so it's like the wee ink rings and the disc on its back and we highly face. That, that's adorable. That's actually really cute. Um, I, I want to keep that for myself. I'm, I'm tempted to give it to somebody else who's actually a much more dog person than I am, but that is really adorable. So, uh, yeah, they're actually they're good. I'm not on board there with the... Capcom exclusive. That's, that's probably the nicest Capcom thing we've ever gotten in one crate. Um, even though we actually almost had like a Capcom exclusive crate, which was like Resident Evil and a bunch of other games, but um, that was really nice. I don't know. I'm on board with that. Fair play. Nicely done. That's actually a decent crate, loot crate exclusive for once. Alright, so what else we got here? Uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. It seems to be some kind of pencil case. What have we got inside it? Does it even tell me it's actually inside it? No? Alright, Konami. Fuck Konami, because Konami are the worst, but they did, well, they did actually provide a reasonably cool little toy. I'm assuming this is a letter opener? Cool. Check that out. Little letter opener. I'm not too sure, like, there's, um, it's one that actually really makes it, uh, the Castlevania II Lords of Shadow. But, um, that's, that's a cool sword that I might actually put, <coughs> excuse me, put on my Gundam figure. I mean, he said she's standing back there, he hasn't got Tracer in his hands anymore, because I had to move around a bit and dropped her out of his hands. So now he's actually got a, a good solid metal blade. I'll actually go with him over here. Yeah, I think. All right. So um, that's a nice little letter opener. Uh, Non-utilitarian stuff, which is fine. I mean, that's a that's what I come to expect. Uh, souvenirs and got got keys and random stuff that actually don't really relate to anything. 
So, um, Titans. Titan figures. We have a Dragon Age, the Heroes of Thetis figure from Titan. Um, I don't really like the design of these figures. Uh, I'm, I've never been a fan of the, um, the shape of them. The Titan figures, I've seen them a couple of times. I actually think we've got one of the kind of Dorby style ones, which was the Brotherhood of Steel figure that we have sitting up on the shelf in the background there. And, um, yeah. I'm not too, not too fussed on their design. Uh, they just say they they've got faces. They're quite expressionful, but the the shape of them just kind of like particularly they they look like a, uh, the kind of thing I would see in a children's Roblox game and stuff. Like uh, they just don't they don't have a defined features to me that they're just like a body, this head, and then that painted on top of it. So um, I don't, I'm tempted not even to open that. Ashes Morgan. I like Morgan as a character. I would never put this up onto my shelf. It's a blind box, so. Maybe we'll actually do this as a giveaway. If you're interested, you want this, you want to find out what's inside this box and then get it in your um, in your mail or in some kind of way of communicating it to you, uh, feel free to throw in a tag on Titan giveaway or no, hashtag we love Titans as a comment underneath this video. Hashtag we love Titans. It's right here on the box, even though it's actually their own promotional thing. We love Titans and I'll give you away this uh, blind boxed. Here's a Thetis figure. I mean, essentially it's exclusive, so it's not blind box. There's no blind box to it. It's just Morgan. So, um, you'll be getting this. Yeah, I'm not too fussed on it, so uh, you enjoy it. Free Morgan figure for the audience out there, uh, because I'm not going to put it on my shelf. Okay, we have Fabula Sunt Verum, which is uh, the writing in Latin on our mythic figure, or myth mythic, uh, what do you call it, bloody um, pin that comes with this month's loot, crate, loot gaming crate, which is fine. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Pin. Pins are always good. The pins are nicely designed, but they're actually like, they they're just there for people who are pin collectors, and I'm not a pin collector, so um, I just keep them in a drawer <laughs> with all the other pins, all gathering dust. And I'm sure that will drive somebody insane that actually is like, oh man, you have to hold on to them for certain reasons. Um, if they actually did something like they did with the uh, main loot crate, where the pin actually has like some value because it has a digital content that goes on with it, I'd be more interested. So, right, what have we got inside our mythic crate? And um, this is actually the tagline for it. Here there be monsters, dragons and vampires, spirits and magic. Welcome to Mythic, a celebration of those who fight ancient battles against creatures of legend. This month's loot gaming crate is 100% exclusive and features items from Dragon Age, Assassin's Creed, Okami, and Castlevania, including for the first time ever, two figurines. Or two figures. Yeah. So, that's actually the listing of the content that was inside this month's crate. Of course, our Saturn figure, the Okami, Okami Den, the Assassin's Creed T, the Mythic Coin, the uh, Castlevania letter opener, and that is what the Mythic Gaming Master Crate would have been. A actual drone racing set with um, headset, controller, and racing drone. That would have been an epic drop, a uh, total value of $350. That's only $350 for the headset? For a headset, controller, and a drone? Only $350? God damn! <laughs> Drones are getting cheap, man. <laughs> Especially if they're actually like ones that are going to be used for like live flying. So, um, oh yeah, of course. One thing I don't forget to do. Because the artwork on these posters are gorgeous. This one's actually sta sta is a quite standout one. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I would actually like to have that up on my wall. It's pity it actually has the crease marks. If they actually they decide to start rolling these and they actually fit it into the tube better, um, I hit whenever you get crease marks and you want to put it into a frame because then it never looks the same. It always looks a little bit torn or a little bit uh, fractured in its foil to the edges. But yeah, a nice griffin and a um, beautiful girl, which um, looks great. Yeah. Hmm. So look great. Um, me and you have had words over the year. Over the year, uh, I, I've said many things bad about your content. This isn't actually a bad crate at all. This is this is actually a not bad crate from the crate. Um, I have received much worse over the last year, and I can't bemoan this one. Um, it's just that it may be a little too little too late. I think it's time for me to probably hang up my unboxing gloves, <laughs> or unboxing hands, and um, maybe do something else with my uh, time here. Because like, putting these videos together for you guys is great. Uh, it's great fun because I actually like to see people's reactions to the content. But... Um, it could maybe be better spent elsewhere. So this could very well be one of the last times you see me undoing, redoing crates because I, I, don't, I don't want to actually become an unboxer unless I'm actually kind of like getting 
people if people aren't really interested in what we're doing. If you enjoyed this particular video, if you enjoyed any of the videos in the series so far, feel free to like and share them. Uh, it's it's the only viable metric metric that I know of to actually kind of tell me whether or not I should continue doing them. If there's people watching, there's people watching. If there's people not watching, then it's time to think of something else. Maybe try a different thing. I've been doing this doing these loot crates for a year now, and uh, I've been quite quick and standard uh, fast with getting them all out as soon as possible for you guys to enjoy, so that there was no spoilers or anything else. But um, it's getting more difficult to actually do them on time whenever I've got a larger workload doing other stuff. So uh, yeah, we may have to drop this particular little stint from the channel. So yeah, book with your, book with your fingers, man. Hit the like button, uh, comment underneath, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And that'll actually help you make your decisions. Or help me make my decisions, to whether or not to keep it on. So this has been the Mythic Crate, Mythic Loot, right there. Bam. Sitting right there for you to see. Um, Mythic Loot. If you enjoyed it, feel free to say. If you hit the button over here, you'll be able to uh, hit subscribe, which will mean you get all the updates for uh, this channel in the future, anytime they come out. And of course, you can look at the playlist underneath. One of them will be the loot crates for all the ones we've done so far on the channel, and the next one beside that will be for someone recent that we've done here on the channel. So I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again very soon for the next video. Again, keep on looting, keep on doing, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.